Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing the tag video that was created by the beautiful Shay Whitney and it is the handbags I didn't buy tag. So thank you so much babe for tagging me and creating this video. I think it's a great way to incorporate different types of opinions about handbags. So I really love this tag but I will say this was so difficult for me to do because ultimately before I put a handbag on my wish list, it's something that I've already seen in person and maybe have looked at at a store or maybe one of my clients have had or one of my friends and I live in Los Angeles so I'll see it around. So like I said, it was really difficult um, for me but there has been three instances, three handbags that this has happened to me where I haven't seen them in person before I went to go purchase them. And when I mean purchase, I mean I literally went to the stores to go buy these three bags and it was really disappointing. So there are only three and because of that, and this video is kind of going to be a little short, I wanted to do my own twist on this video and at the end of the video I'm going to be talking about three handbags that I didn't fall in love with until I did see them in person, meaning maybe I have seen them on somebody on from afar and I didn't think anything of it or maybe I saw it on Instagram and didn't think anything of it but I truly did not fall in love or even know one of these bags. One of these bags I did not even know existed until I saw it in person so it was a little bit more of a true love situation because I feel like no social media or no one person inspired me to get it. I just really instantly fell in love with these bags right when I saw them at the store and tried them on and all of that. So I wanted to talk about those as well and before I get into the video I just want to say sorry a million times like Shay if anybody has the handbags that I'm going to be talking about in the tag video as far as the ones that I didn't end up buying I, I really hope you guys don't take offense to this this is truly just my opinions and my opinions are so nitpicky like they're kind of like personal so I, I don't think anyone will take offense to this but I am I am saying sorry if anyone does have these handbags and you know might take offense I don't I don't know but I am gonna say sorry a million times like Shay did like usual if you're new here I would love you guys to join my YouTube family if you hit the subscribe button and the bell you'll be notified every time that I upload a video and I do have an Instagram and a snapchat that I would love you guys to go follow me on if you're interested I'll put my name somewhere on the screen and I'll have everything in the information box below okay so the first one I'm gonna be talking about is one of the newer bags between the three that I'm gonna be talking about and and it is something I was so excited when it first came out because it was a walk that looked like it was able to fit so much in it and it can and it is the Gucci Dionysus walk. I wanted it in the plain canvas monogram print with the nude sides and I really wanted a nude bag. I feel like I'm still on the hunt for like that perfect nude you know smaller bag for my collection but this one I truly did feel like super confident about and it was I don't know if you guys remember but I did do a handbag wish list video in my car a while back and the Gucci walk was on it and when I went to go finally look at it meaning I was literally about to buy it like I called my local Gucci they said that they had it in stock I was like okay great I'm on my way went to go buy it I tried it on it looked beautiful the chain was gorgeous the antique silver on Gucci's hardware on their bags are so stunning. Just like the Marmont with the, you know, antique gold. It's so gorgeous. The snap closure worked beautifully. The canvas looked gorgeous. It felt really luxurious. But when I went to go put my stuff in the bag, this is where it like broke my heart because the whole reason of me really loving this bag is that it was capable of holding a lot from the accordion sides and all, you know, the compartments inside the bag. So I ended up putting my phone, my, uh, you know, my Louis Vuitton Damier Azur clay that I use as my card holder. I put that in there. I put a lip product. I put my keys and it looked great. And then I was like, okay, there's still so much more room. Let's see what else I can put in there. I, I believe I was using my Chanel jumbo in there. So I just had different crap in there. I had my rollerball perfume just hanging out. I took, you know, items out of my mini pochette to put it in there just to play with smaller items that I could maybe add to this bag besides my main essentials. And it just started looking really weird. Once I closed it and I had bulkier items in the bag, it became really wonky. One side would be really bulgy and the other side was more narrow. I felt like I had to play Tetris in order to even out the bag um, in order for it to not be like bulky on one side and thin on the other side. And then on the side that it was bulky it sort of created like this football like egg shape and I just 
I didn't like it and I've always been a fan of the Chanel walk but number one I couldn't justify the price point for such a tiny bag and it not fitting a lot but now I really understand the design of that bag and other walks like it like the Saint Laurent walk even though it does have you know rounder edges on the top and the bottom like the Dionysus it can't stretch out too much um, I know Gucci does make other walks where they don't have the gussets and the accordion sides but I really liked the Dionysus one I really loved the hardware and I loved the canvas monogram print on it so that was just a really big bummer I was literally about to like pay for it and then she's like no like look at it you know put your stuff in it and I, I couldn't believe that that was my reason for not getting it and it was just really annoying because I felt like on one hand okay fine don't put so much in it but then on the other hand I'm like I'm just gonna always be annoyed that the design I felt like it's a little bit of a design flaw basically I was just annoyed that you wouldn't be able to put more in it versus the minimal amount that maybe a Chanel walk would be able to hold um, without it doing like that really weird wonky uneven you know bit. That was just sort of a disappointment and an annoying thing for me because I felt like the price point was amazing for the bag, the quality of it was good, I loved the way it actually looked in person but just empty with nothing in it <laughs> basically. So that was my most recent happening of this. The other two were a couple years ago so um, I'm gonna try to remember exactly what happened and sort of take myself back as to why I didn't like them. But the next bag is the Chloe Faye in the small size. And this was around the time that it just came out. I believe it was like 2015 maybe? I, I think. And I was obsessed with the nude color that it came in. I love that this was like a boho style bag but it had an edge to it because of the chain and the hoop. And we all know the Chloe Faye and the Drew are some of people's favorite bags. We see them everywhere all over social media. All the you know fashion bloggers have some sort of Chloe bag. Ultimately when I went to go see it I did love the way it looked. I just didn't feel like I was buying a luxury bag. It didn't feel like that to me and I'm not saying it felt cheap by any means. I, I, I don't think that at all. It just didn't feel like a luxury purchase to me. I wasn't so excited to spend that amount of money on a bag that looked like that. I don't know. It just it just didn't feel as exciting as I thought it would be. And I waited and waited for my essay to call me when they had that color in because it was going out of stock a lot um, in person and this was something I didn't want to order. I really just did want to see it in person because I haven't seen it in person yet surprisingly. Now I see it everywhere and I do love the way that bag looks on other people. I wasn't, I will tell you, I wasn't, this is something I remember. I wasn't a fan of all the little compartments from the the way it looked from the side but that's just like me being super nitpicky. The main reason why I didn't get it is because I just didn't feel like I was getting a luxury purchase and I just preferred the $1,500 ultimately that I was going to spend on that bag to go to something else that felt more luxurious even if I was spending a little bit more than that. So yes the price point is good for a designer handbag but at the same time I didn't feel like I was buying a luxury bag. It is a designer bag but didn't feel really luxury to me so yeah. So the last bag that I'm going to be talking about that I didn't buy is the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag in the small. And this was a while ago. This is before I had any of my Celine bags. And what turned me off about the bag, this is so nitpicky, is that it wasn't a Celine bag. When I went to go get my Celine Nano, they didn't have any of the micros there. So that was one of the reasons why I didn't get my the Celine micro at that time. And another reason why is the price point was just really, really hefty um, when you're buying it retail. And at that time, Celine did not have any micros in stock and I just felt like it was kind of the next best thing on the luxury market, even though I know this bag resembles more like a Birkin. Um, when I went to go get it and look at it, I was just like, no, I'd rather wait for something that excited me more. There was nothing wrong with the bag. It did feel a little heavy. I didn't really like the way it looked on the shoulder with the long strap, but I did love the way it looked in the crook of my arm. But it, again, it was just something that wasn't I just thought it was, I was more excited on the way to go look at it but then when I was actually looking at it and really taking the time um, you know at the store with the bag the more and more I just felt like more over it and to be over it before you buy it was kind of a big red flag that not to get it basically so it was just something that made me want the Celine micro even more does that make sense because I knew it was something that I would only wear on the crook of my arm and for me I just feel like the Celine Micro just does it 
tenfold um, over that bag for me. So yeah, that was the reason why I didn't end up with the sac de jour in the small size. All right, so now I'm gonna do my little twist to this video and I'm gonna be talking about the three handbags that I didn't fall in love with until I saw them in person. And the first bag that I wanna talk about is a bag that I didn't even know existed. And again, I saw this at Nordstrom um, and it's the Valentino My Rock Stud bag. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. Yes, it resembles a Kelly, but what I loved about the bag is that really you don't know what it is unless you know Valentino bags. The quality of it felt amazing. The price point's pretty high on this bag, but get what you pay for when you get this bag. I loved the way it looked with the long shoulder strap. I put my stuff in it and it fit quite a bit in there and it looked gorgeous on the crook of the arm. I will be talking about this bag a little bit more in depth in my top handle handbags, favorite top handle handbags on the luxury market video when I do end up doing it. It's just such a stunning bag and it really was love at first sight because I never saw that bag before and I just really, really love it. So now it's on my lifetime wish list. The next bag I wanna talk about is something that I ended up seeing in the Louis Vuitton boutique when I went to go ask them about fixing my mini pochette in the zipper and it is the Neo Vivian bag. Oh my God, I have seen this bag before in photos, the older version, um, but this one that they had there, I think it was the MM size and I believe it was the new model. I think that's what they said. It was behind the sales associate on the wall and I was just like, what is that? And they're like, oh, do you wanna see it? So they brought it down. I looked at it, I was like, can I try it on? They let me put my stuff in it. I just fell in love. There's really nothing to say. I'm just obsessed with the way it looks. I'm obsessed with the way um, that it felt. The quality of it felt amazing. The price point's really high for a small bag. I'm not going to lie, but that is on a lifetime wish list for me. Didn't know I loved it until I saw it. Love that bag. The next bag I ended up seeing at Chanel. I went in there to see if they had a certain card holder in stock and they didn't. So I'm still waiting for that phone call when they do end up getting it in because I really think I want this card holder really bad. So stay tuned for that. I don't really know what's gonna happen with that. When I was in there, they had this bag and it is one of their newer sort of Chevron designs. I don't know. I I get really intimidated in that store so I didn't ask too many questions but it was pretty much like a mini size and it's in this bold bright red color. They also had it in black and in a larger size but I was so attracted to this red color. I was so attracted to the quilting on this bag. I felt like it was a really good you know interpretation of something more modern and the vintage Chanel's with the quilting that they used to do. It was just so gorgeous and I never thought I would fall in love with you know, any of the sort of minis that they have after my mini leaving such a bad taste in my mouth. So I just loved it. I felt like it was different enough from the minis for me to not even think about that. And this red was so perfect. And I've been wanting a smaller little flap red bag or some sort of red bag so bad lately. I do have my red MCM backpack, but I don't really wear that that much. I'm just so obsessed with this. I cannot get it out of my mind. I saw it a week and a half ago and it's just not, has not been leaving my mind. So we'll see about that. I put myself on Ban Island for the rest of this year as far as handbags go. So that's just something I don't know though if I'll ever see again. And if I do see it on the resale market, it's gonna be so overly priced. So far that has been just on my mind constantly. So I just love it. I don't even know the name of it, you guys. I'm just gonna put a photo of it on the screen. I think online it just said flat bag. I know there's a name to it. So any of these bags that I'm gonna be talking about, I'll link them below for you guys in case if you're interested and you wanna see them. But yeah, that is it. Those are the handbags that I didn't buy and those are the handbags that I now want to buy after seeing them in person. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you liked my little twist that I put on it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks again so much to the beautiful Shay for creating this video and tagging me. And I have no one to tag because everyone's been tagged in this video, so I tag everyone as well. Everyone do this video, everyone do this tag. I think it's such a good one. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.